Uh, yeah, the first thing that I think it's important to show you to you, it's related to the way that you install the Cybe Software 2025 version, okay? Um, we have here a new tool that will help you to manage the different applications that you have, okay? So that will help you to install and update the softwares uh, easily, okay? So this, um, this new feature, we have called it Cybe Menu, okay? Uh, it's this option here, okay? And the idea here is uh, you have a, 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 a toolbox, okay, where you can select the tools that you want to install in your computer. And then you can, uh, every time you want to use our software, you just run this app or run this menu and then uh, click on the, the software that you want to use, okay? The same thing is going to be when you want to update a software, okay? So... I will go. I will start with with the beginning. Okay, I will share to you two ways to download this app, and then we'll see how it works. Okay, it's very simple, but I think it's important to know because it's the first step to work with Skype. Okay, so to download this app, you have two options. Okay, the first option that you have is to come here on the Solutions tab in our website. Okay, so at Skype.com, and then go to the download area. Okay. Here, at in the in the download area, you can filter the software, uh, the, the downloads by installer and technical files. Okay, in this case, this is installer, and then you can filter also by version. In this case, we are talking about the 2025 version. Okay, uh, with that, you will see here the results, and then you just download this option. Cl click here and download, and then you have this menu. Uh, to th then you can run the the, the, the the software okay you can install the software and, and run it okay this is the first option the second option is go directly to the Bing server center platform okay Bing server dot center here you can log in okay or and then you can go to the area that we called store okay here in the store at, at the Bing server center platform okay and here you see a lot of applications most of them developed by Scythe, most of, of them are included in the app, the CP menu app, okay? And here, clicking in the CP menu app, okay, you can also download the site menu from this point here, okay? So it's going to be exactly the same option, the, the, exactly the same menu. You can select both uh, options uh, and then uh, download the, the software, okay? Once the software is installed, you see this little icon in your desktop, okay, or you see uh, the, in the list of apps that you have in your computer. And by clicking here, you can run the site menu, and then uh, you see this 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 list or this um, this toolbox as I have been talking before um, in your uh, in your computer, okay. So how it works? It's very easy to understand. Here we have different uh, folders or different categories of software. Okay, all the softwares that we have they are um, classified by categories. So here you can see those eight categories that are the most important categories that we have, starting with architecture. Okay, so here we have softwares like as Cypher Architecture, Open Bing Site. Okay, here we also have uh, Open Bing Layout. Okay, then we have the structural um, category. So here we have SypeCAD, we have Cybe3D, we have the Portal Frame Generator, here we have Cybe Connect, we have Strubing Steel, Strubing Rebar, and different applications. We can also see here the MEAP, in this case talking about mechanical and plumbing uh, softwares. So here you can see, you can find Cybe uh, HVAC, Cybe Plumbing, here we can find, uh, for example, Cybe Fire. Uh, hydraulic systems, okay. Here we also find um, MEP for electrical installations, okay. Different versions of Cyplec, Cyplec PV systems, okay. Energy and acoustic simulation. Uh, I'm sure that you already have been watching our our um, presentations about, for example, Cyperm E plus, Cyperm loads, okay. Um, here you can also find information about Acubat by Cybe to, an, to acoustic analysis. Management, okay, so here you can find, for example, open bin quantities or open bin cost estimator. 
project doc documents, okay, different softwares for that purpose, and also interoperability where you can find the different plugins or softwares that we have to interact with other softwares that are not developed by SIPE. For example, using the IFC format in this case through IFC uploader or using the plugin OpenBing Revit to connect SIPE with Revit. Okay? So it's very easy to understand how it works. Okay? Uh, and here, uh, besides that, you also have here some options where you can contact directly with the technical support of SIPE. Here you can also find the user communities that are related to our software. There are different options here. Here you can also send your su suggestions, your wishes uh, to us using the wish list, or you can e your, you can even find more resources uh, in our um, SIP Learning uh, uh, Resources Center. Let's say that where you can find more documents, manuals, tutorials about our software using this option. Okay. In this case, you can also see that I'm, lo I'm connected with my license here. So this is my name. This is my uh, my license okay and here I can also connect and disconnect this license okay because um, I'm using uh, in this case a uh, uh, digital license okay so here I can disconnect this li this license for example if I wanna uh, use it in another computer so I just disconnect the license in this computer go to another computer and connect again in the, in the other I don't need to install the software here I just need to uh, disconnect the license okay um, besides that, if you see in my softwares, uh, some of the softwares they are colored, and some of the softwares are in this grayscale. Okay, what it means? This those softwares that are uh, colored, it means that I've I've downloaded this software in this computer uh, before. Okay, so in this case, Cyber Architecture is one software that I've uh, downloaded before. Uh, so now it's available here at. Uh, at in this case in at this inside menu to to run it okay if i click here in the num number of the software in this case the cyber architecture application will st will start okay it's, it's going to be this the same application that we have since the beginning is just uh, organized in a different way okay but here you can find the software and once the, the software is running i can start working with the application that was selected okay so here you can see that is the cyber architecture that we use always is, is the same situation to come back to the site menu i can use this little button here in the window system click here in the site menu uh, option and then i will see the menu working normally and then i can also open another software parallel to the cyber architecture in this case there is no problem okay so you can see that in my list of icons here i have now cyber architecture working besides the zip menu but then i can have more icons here uh, simultaneously okay uh, those softwares that are in the grayscale it means that they were not downloaded yet in this computer okay so for example in this case site connect was not downloaded in this computer uh, before so if i click here this the, the system will tell me that uh, there is a version of site connect that is uh, the latest version available is 2025a but there is also a previous version available that is the 2024f so here i can choose both of them i can, I can choose the, the best one from that, that that i need depending on the project that I'm, I'm working okay and the software is telling us that is that this application is not installed so it's quite simple i just click here and according to the size of the software, the, 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 the application that we've selected, the site menu will start downloading this, this application from the cloud, okay? Uh, and then will install to us in this computer, okay? So when the process starts, I can select the type of lens licenses that I have. For example, if you are wor using one of our evaluation versions, you, one of our campus versions, or a temporary license version it's here the place that you want to select okay to then work with the version that you have if you already uh, have a professional version so you just select here professional version and then select the language that you want to install this application for example in this case I'm installing in English okay so site connect and as you can see uh, at this moment I'm downloading site connect to this computer okay because 
all the files that were necessary to, to install the site font were not downloaded yet. So here I can uh, save space on my hard disk because I select just those softwares that I want to install in my computer. Okay, so I don't need to install everything that we have at site um, because maybe it could be uh, uh, important space in our hard disk. So here now I have the chance to select just those softwares that are your interest. Okay, um, let's wait here until SiteCon is installed. And when the, the download starts, the installation will run automatically, and then we will see this option here, this this uh, window, just telling us that that it, the installation is completed. Okay, so let's accept it, and then you can see now that the site icon, icon is colored, and it's ready to use. Okay, a third situation that we have here is that are some of the softwares that I've installed before they are needing some update. What it means? It, it means that, for example, in this case, Strubing Steel, when I've installed Strubing Steel, after that, Sipes launched a new version of Strubing Steel, a new update, okay? So, <coughs> here we can see this message telling us that uh, there is a new version uh, updated. For example, the version that I have in my computer is 2025A that was installed in this date at this time but in this there is another one from another date that is now available okay so if I want I can just click here again or uh, use, uh, execute the, the software that I have okay so I can choose between still use the software that is installed or update to the new version that is available so it's quite easy to understand um, it's much more easier now to manage all the tools that we have you have you use uh, here with us okay so just uh, it's important to know that that we have these three scenarios okay three states of our software okay not downloaded yet downloaded but that needs an update or then updated and that you can use